What's going on, fellas? Uh, today I'm gonna be installing the rear shocks, the front struts. Um, I was actually pretty happy I found these. I mean, I, I don't know how good they are, but you know, they're Ford Motorcraft and probably better than what I got right now. The KYBs, these are, I guess they're like entry level, but you know, way better than stock, obviously. I got these off of rockauto.com. I paid for the two shocks and the two struts, $141.15. Uh, the price for the KYBs were $42.79 a piece, making the total for those two $85.58. And then the Motorcraft was $20.79 a piece, which totaled at $41.58. So, <clears throat> The total $141.15. It was a pretty good deal. Uh, you see a bunch of the other ones that are kind of, you know, expensive. So I figured it save some money and do some maintenance at the same time. So we're going to get started right now. All right, so we got our trunk open <clears throat> because the bolt is right there. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, let me get you a good shot right so that's the bolt Pop the trunk open um, if your window is off like mine is then it'll be fairly simple just, just slide it down there just pop it right on top of that bad boy well, let me go find the size right now let you guys know what size that is. All right, so this particular size nut is a 14. So that's what you're gonna need to get it off. I also wanted to mention that I'm also, I'm actually upgrading to the V8 struts, V8 rotors, spindles, and I have the brake calipers back here which I am sanding down slowly but surely. Uh, I'm gonna be doing that today as well, sanding all that down. I don't know if I'm gonna leave it bare. And uh, go ahead and just clean those off. I gotta fix, just pull this out a little bit here. And on this one as well. Got some damage there, just you know, straighten that shit out, get her done. So that'll be in the video as well. Dipping till I'm feeling like I'm sitting on cloud nine. I'll be chilling, kicking back like a villain, getting so high, so high, so high, getting so high, so high, so high, so high, so high. All right, so we got the wheels off, the car is up in the air. We have easy access to these. And this thing is pretty beat up, eh? But, uh, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and try to fucking get her done. I hope that this quad shock does not mess up my new ones. I uh, might have to bang this in a bit to get it to work a little bit better. But it feels like it's already kind of banged in there. But I might have to bang it in some more. Definitely need to clean it. I don't like. I don't want to take these off, even though I got tubular control arms, which I painted. Look at me, which I ended up primering, which I didn't know. No, I was gonna do that, but okay. I just saw that right now. All right, so let's go ahead and get this shit done. All right, so in this case here, this is a T55 
Torx bit for that. And then this is a, a 19 millimeter for this nut here. And uh, we'll go ahead and get that off right now. I'll be chilling, kicking back like a billion years. All right, we got both bottom nuts and bolts off. Two fifty five Torx bit, nineteen millimeter. So we're gonna have to come in here. This again was a fourteen millimeter. So let's go ahead and take that bad boy off. If this good we I'm relaxed. This day will make a motherfucker lean back. You know who be easy like Alrighty, so we got those suckers out. Just got the old uh, bushing and that washer. All right, so now the old one would go in pretty much like so. Just stick that sucker. Well, it would go like that, you know, go in like this. Whammo kablamo, you get what I'm saying? But I gotta dress it up first, so let me go ahead and do that real quick. I'll get back with you. Right, so this is what comes in uh, one of these boxes, just one of these boxes. So each one has its own bag with its own hardware. So this is the bag that is probably different depending on the brand. It's gonna be different for the KYB. This is the one for the Ford Motorcraft. So what you're gonna get is these two bushings and these two washers. I guess I would call them like a, yeah, it's just a washer, a bushing washer. And uh, this is gonna go in here. So, and then once it goes through the uh, wheel well there, inside, then you put this one on. And then, wham. So that's how that goes. All right, let's get her done. So now, we got these on. Still have to torque these down. We'll go ahead and get this back end done. Start on the front. We gotta clean up the, the rotors and the calipers. Still gotta tighten another up too. So she's coming along. It's not very hard. I just wanted to show you like a simple video on how to get this shit done quick and easy. Whammo kablamo. There's more to come, fellas. Stay tuned. It's so high, 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 so high. I'm smoking and I'm sipping till I'm feeling like I'm sitting on cloud nine. I'll be chilling. Alright guys, so I'm going to end this video right here on just the rear end. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a separate video on the front end. Because basically I'll just name this one 4 cylinder brake to V8 brake up, upgrade because that's pretty much what I'm doing. And the only reason I bought those was to be able to fit them on that. So if not, I would have just kept what I have now, but I mean... This is kind of the reason why I'm making this video. <clears throat> so, that'll be it for this video. That is how to install rear shocks on a Fox body. Doesn't matter what kind of Fox body. Could be a Ford Fairmont. Could be anything with a 7.5 or an 8.8 .8 in it. It's got a Fox body chassis. Doesn't have to be Fox body Mustang, just has to be a Fox body. All right, thank you everybody for watching, and I will see you on the next video.